Okay, we're going to make a double boring bar holder here for ID Work. This is an EWS product. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to position this in the correct orientation. Uh, this is a VDI holder, so if this is sitting on the OD, since it's an ID tool, it's going to sit on a star type of VDI turret. Um, what I want is I want the Z vector pointing up into the turret away from the holder and this is the opposite orientation for that. So what I'm going to do is just right click and say select all. I'm going to right click, say copy. I'm going to say rotate from the drop down or R on your keyboard. We're going to move I'm going to uncheck about the origin. I'm going to put in 180 degrees, and then I'm going to just pick the, um, the x-axis. So now that we have this in the correct orientation, um, we're pretty much done with the positioning. Now what I want to do is create my tool position. So I've got two uh, Y offset local uh, positions here for the tool. We've got one closer to the operator and one more uh, in the machine. So what I've been doing, just so I know with my own nomenclature, the one that's closest to the operator, I always use as number one. And then if this was a dual sided boring bar, I would use uh, side one and side two here. So what I'm gonna do is just make these really quick. Um, you see the orientation here uh, what I want to do, it's for me now, it's easier to just uh, come here and pick on the home ribbon bar to do rotate UVW. And I want to flip this so that the Z is going in toward the holder for the local tool position because the tool is going to be oriented along my Z vector at that position. So when I click on this, it's going to ask me down here, uh, we're going to enter 0 for U or X, minus 90 for Y or V, and then for the W or the Z, I'm going to put in 0. And once I've done that, my UVW rotates backward 90 degrees around the Y axis, and then I can come here to the translate command and just digitize. You can see here there's two centers here. I want to make sure that I grab this outside face. And then I'm going to come here and say, this is my tool adapter position number one and my holder adapter position number one. If I have a GDML solid for a, a holder, let's say, and then I'm going to use the translate command and again, make sure between these two, you pick the outer one that's on this blue face. And now I'm going to do tool adapter two and holder adapter two. And now at this point, uh, we're pretty much ready to come here to File, Save As, and this would be a holder GDML. But I'm going to hit Cancel, so you can stop watching if you want. Or I like my solids to have some nice coloring to them. So the first thing that I want to do is just Control-A or right-click and say Select All. I'll come here to Properties and change the color. I like to go with the EWS. I try to keep everything the same. A light gray. Um, for properties, it's under home and then show hide properties or alt enter on your keyboard. And I see that there's a logo on this side. So I'm going to zoom in on this logo. And looking at the logo, uh, we could use grouping propagation, which is down here. If I highlight over this and then I click on it, you'll see that second icon is propagation. And for edges, we want to make sure the second one is highlighted that's opposite edges so now if I hold shift on my keyboard and I pick one of these small edges you can see that the uh, edges are grabbed all around the outside I'll hold control on my keyboard and then pick on the top of that logo so that I add the um, outside or the top face and then I'm going to right click go to attribute color blue and then just say OK a couple times, click elsewhere, and we have the nice EWS logo. So there's other things that you can do. Um, if you wanted to, you know, like grab a bunch of these uh, uh, screw hole, uh, screw, uh, whatever they are, they're screw caps, 
we screw heads, we can just go ahead and pick uh, the loops and with control shift, we can grab everything and you know do this on the other side as well. Zoom in over here and just kind of do this really quick since I'm doing it. Uh, might as well just finish it up. Do these uh, different, uh, these four and then maybe come to a different shade of gray or something just to give it a little bit of uh, you know, interest. So anyway, you can mess with the coloring if you want. Uh, once you've done with that, you can go ahead and save this and use it for the Esprit simulation. And to do that again, you come to File, Save As, come down here to the holder GDML, and here I'm just gonna put um, ID dual Y offset at the end of that, and we are done.